Hello guys, welcome back to another thing about for today's video here we're going to show you or discuss for you how to fix real link and VR not detecting camera. So this case if you're having problems with your NVR here, well there are a few things that you may want to do. So you want to start with the physical connections. Now before diving into menus and settings here, you want to check the basics. So is the injury cable plug firmly here into both the camera and the NVR? Also uh, are you try uh, you want to try using a different port on the NVR as well? Sometimes a single port just fails here. And also if you're using a PoE switch or injector, make sure it's powered on and actually supports PoE. Now, faulty or loose wiring is the number one reason for cameras that don't get detected. Next is you want to power cycle everything. Now, this might sound too simple, but it often works. So you plug the NVR and the camera, wait for about like 30 seconds, plug them back in and let them reboot fully. Now, full power cycle resets internal connections and may bring the camera back online. Also, you want to confirm camera compatibility. Now. In this case, you want to make sure that your camera is actually compatible with your NVR. Now, if it's actually compatible, it should auto detect. But if no, or if not, make sure the camera supports ONVIF. So that's a protocol Real Link uses to connect third party IP cameras. Now, Real Link and VRs don't automatically support non Real Link models unless they follow the uh, ONVIF standards. And also, you may want to manually add your cameras here for non real link models here. Again, if that, if they actually support that specific protocol. Now, you want to go to your menu, then IP channel, then device search here. And you want to look at the camera's IP address, click it, and choose modify. And enter the right login credentials and settings here. And once done, the camera should appear in the NVR interface. Next is you want to update your NVR firmware as well. So, updated software can prevent the NVR from detecting even compatible cameras. So, to check for updates, you want to go to your settings, then system, then maintenance, then look for the firmware update prompt. Now available until the latest version. Now this can patch bugs, improves overall detection and performance. Now you want to also do a factor reset here, but only do this if it is needed. Now in this case, if none of the, the fixes before actually work for you, you want to navigate to menu, then system, then maintenance, then select restore or factory reset. But keep in mind, this will erase all your save settings. So use this as a last resort. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to enough thinspo. Thank you for watching.